Good morning, cultists. Welcome back to another Unbalanced Breakfast with Kutu Loops. So, in our last episode, we won our uh, quick war against the Slurpanor dudes. Uh, I forget who they were actually called before we annihilated them. Anyways, um, so in between episodes, I did let time pass. It's been like six years since the uh, last episode ended. Like, six actual years. Not six years game time, I'm talking like six years in like real time. So I had to involve some kind of like weird time machine thing. There's a whole thing and um, here we are in the year 2022. The world has ended um, because uh, Donald Trump was re-elected again. Uh, but all politics aside, <laughs> uh, that actually does terrify me genuinely. Anyways. All politics aside and whatnot, um, I did declare a war. Look at this. I declared a war against the uh, the Glorious Pact to get them to seed a couple of uh, planets, or sorry, not a couple, seed three planets of the Combine of Cinema to the Slurpanor, which will effectively destroy the Combine of Cinema, and then we are getting them to liberate some of their planets up here. That we will then vassalize once they've been liberated. And why the hell not destroy some uh, frontier outposts. And we're obviously going to vote yes. For our own war. Because, you know, it would be we very stupid to not. And we also um, built more um, troops to round off the num these numbers. So now they're all looking brand spanking new and fantastic. But before we actually attack the uh, Zaxoid and the Aztan and the Azum, we might need to keep an eye out for their fleets. What we might... What might be a good idea is to get all of our fleets moving together as one group as we annihilate each of their um, really strong fleets. So let's do that. Let's go ahead, get all of our four um, fleets to attack the... Third extra orbital core, um, which complete. currently houses a navy of ninety thousand uh, strength. And then after we blast them in the ass, we'll go after the uh, Zaxoid and their Federation fleet of well, close to sixty thousand. Not quite, but close enough. Also, in between episodes, we finished the restoration of the Beacon of Perpetuity. The last um, Ringworld section of the Beacon of Perpetuity. So now I have our construction ships building the um, sensor array, I believe. How close are we to actually finishing it? You are about 63%. It looks fairly done to me. I don't know why you need to um, work on it for like 47 more percent, but fair enough. Don't let me question your work. What the hell are the Zaxoids doing with their transport fleet in my uh, ally's space? Pelks, Cardonians? Guys maybe want to blast these guys in the ass? Should we try to get our allies to help us out? Mm, let's, let's all meet up in Hif, first off. And then get coordinated, and then maybe we'll uh, think about attacking the other dudes. What do you guys want? Again, no, we will not trade strategic resources for your stupid things. And why was I not playing at full speed? Colony what the shit? Is that why it literally took six years in between episodes? Oh no. I was a fool. Oh well, what else is new? Okay, so everyone is in HIF. Let's see if maybe we can actually take point. Maybe our allies are willing to join us in this escapade? Or probably not. I'm assuming not. No, they're following the second bouquet. You guys are following some of the dudes. And my assumption is that, nope, they're doing their own thing. So you know what? Let's not even bother to take point. I think we might have to just go in. Guns blazing. The extra orbital core are over here. Where are they? What are they doing? Are they just standing about doing nothing? Fine. Why don't you guys go over to Yump? Which is the best system name 
ever. Seriously, Yump? That is incredible. Uh, where'd they go? Oh, they're over here oh, now. Ah. They're following Transport Fleet 18. Which means that they're most likely gonna disappear following the second extra orbital core? Is that the zoom? Oh, it's these guys. Okay. Interesting. So they seem to be a little distracted by our allies, which is fine. Can we, in fact, get all of you guys to attack them at once? Is that possible? Or will they escape? Colony They'll most likely escape. That usually happens. What do you want? Complete. Research is done? Let's go with shield hit points. Because we do use shields, right? So it might be useful to have that shit. Um, can you guys go all go attack at once rather than, complete. you know, being staggered and shit? Please? Can you catch up to them before they escape? Is that possible or are you guys just going to be distracted by these stupid ass mining stations? Nope, no chances of- no chance in hell of us catching up to the, uh, the third extra orbital Colony core now. They're following the 18th fleet. Transport fleet. Mmm, come on. If you can just circumvent the, um, the science outposts, you might be able to reach them in time. Just don't get distracted. Guys, eyes on the prize, please. For the love of all that is Eldritch, eyes on the freaking prize. Would you go over there? Yeah, start making your way over and then just attack them whenever you get the chance. Although they're quickly moving out of the um, gravity well, so there's a good chance they might. Um, nope, they're just chilling out, chilling out maxing, relaxing, all cool. I guess, I mean, that works for me. Ah, uh, guys, you've been distracted by the research station. No! You fucking morons! I hate this system so much! God, why? Oh, so frustrating. I'm sorry, I can no longer contain my rage. Ah. Uh. Alright. Second Kingsport, where are you guys? Just follow these dudes. Space meatheads. Go ahead. God. I don't know. I just don't know. Some of the uh, things that happen in this game just... I, I want to love this game. I really do, and I do love this game. But sometimes the things that the uh, game does just saps my will to play. It's just, oh my god, why would they program it that way? <sighs> Anyways. Enough bitching, let's follow the uh, third extra orbital core. They appear to be parked in Yurava Vas, which is actually uh, Swahili for you are a wuss. Whether or not that is true, you decide. Um, we should actually be able to land right on top of them. Perfect. Although I was kind of hoping you guys would um, all teleport at once, rather than individually. You fucking dumb nuts. Look at that. Now that fleet's taking some major casualties. Major, major casualties. Oh, that grinds my goat so bad. That grinds my goat. We just lost like 11 battleships. Because you guys couldn't like get there at the same time. I wonder if there's like a f uh, way to program that maybe. I don't know. You know what though? We did destroy their fleet. So I'm willing to take those losses. Um, it is the... Who are they? It's the second Kingsport Reserve. So... Let's make sure that we're replenishing them. Hmm. Yeah, let's get some battleships out on this business. Three battleships from these guys. Five battleships from them. And then... From the other dudes who can build battleships really quickly. Five battleships from them as well. Yeah, we need... Sorry, we don't need cruisers. We actually need just one destroyer. And then the rest are all just corvettes. Yeah, you know what? 
Never mind, it's not the worst thing in the world. There we go. Okay, good. So now that you guys have destroyed the um, Zooms Navy, let's turn our attention towards the Zaxoids. Aha. There they are with their 100, 168,000. Wow, I'm genuinely impressed. I didn't think you had it in you, Zaxoids, but um, you guys are actually able to rival the Pelks Credonians. Huh, good for you. Well, bad for us, but good for you. Have you guys lost sight of them? Is that what's going on here? Guys, you need to, um, again, get your eyes on the prize. Make sure that you're following the Zaxoids wherever the hell they are. And just pelt them with Timbits. Which is the Canadian way to violently kill someone. Um, the non-violent way a Canadian would kill someone would actually be to um, drown them in maple syrup. Which is non-violent because it's mostly very, very slow process. You're literally drowning in molasses. Oh, look at that. The Zaxoids have actually gone into the territory of our allies. Which means that maybe we can spawn right on... We can't spawn right on top of them. They're following Transport Fleet 18. Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh no, they're following the 4th Kingsport Reserve. Meaning that they're coming towards us? Oh no, yep, yep, they're well, they're, they're kind of coming towards us. In a way. Um... Oh, there they are. Uh... 7th Husk Squadron. If you guys can just bugger out out of there, that'd be a fantastic. Oh, no. One of you got caught. Hey! Fantastic! Ha <laughs> ha! Mazel tov, bitches. Here we go. Although this will most likely result in further casualties, which we'll have to replace. But as long as we can destroy these Zaxoids in one fell swoop, we're willing to take these casualties. Because they know exactly what they signed up for. And this Corvette just got super lucky. He probably pissed his pants. Again, the Biaki uh, using the pants as a form of currency. It's it's a, a bit of a social taboo to piss your pants because you're basically shitting on your own um, on your own money. But hey, if you want to wipe your ass with your own money, more power to you. I'm not gonna bemoan you. That's your money. Although technically, everyone's money does belong to the government, which is how it works and why. It is illegal to deface currency and all that Situation shit. Log updated. Hey, where'd they go? Ah, those little bitches. They've escaped. Damn. Hegemony of Muse. Research with their 14,000. Pathetic. We'll just ignore those guys. And let's go with increased armor. You know what? I suppose we might as well just start sieging down one of their, uh, some of their stuff. But we're going to keep our fleets all together in case we find the Zaxoids. Um, yeah, in case we actually do come across the Zaxoids, it might be a good idea to keep these guys intact so that we can mobilize together rather than uh, scrambling to get them all together once we um, do make visual contact with them. Situation log updated. If any of that makes any sense whatsoever. It might actually be easier for me to replenish these fleets after the war. Um, this might be a bit of an involved process calculating which fleets need what and all that stuff. Yeah. Let's actually hold off on um, replenishing the fleets until the war is over. Besides, I'll have a lot of time in between episodes to do that anyways, so we might as well. Ugh, bit of a pain in the ass, I assure you. Alox Haxizab. Transport fleets? If we can really just find the uh, Zaxoids armies, this would make things a lot easier because then we can have our splits, uh, our splits? Our fleets split up. Apparently, I decided to mix the two um, two words up. 
fleet and split. We can, if our splits, which are the splitted fleets, can then just go about their own business and uh, we don't need to have all of them bunched up into one giant mass of death and destruction. As much as I love giant masses of death and destruction, I should have only had the one army do that. Oh well. Oh well. Now I gotta find who does what and where goes what. Who are you? Who are the oh okay, so you guys are the space meatheads. Great. Enemy planet secured. Yeah, of course. Um Ah crapola. <laughs> Damn it! Now I have to split them up again. I oh so uh, I'm such an idiot. Such an idiot. Alright. Let's do this properly. Merge. 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 And merge. Merge. And merge. And merge. Is that good? There we go. Okay. So you guys can continue to follow the space meatheads. Great. You guys can follow the first Kingsport Reserve. Follow the second Kingsport Reserve. That would be these dudes, I would presume. Yes. And then the third Kingsport Reserve. Perfect. Okay. So we still don't really have eyes on the Zaxoids. No, no. No, that's the Commissary of Astan. Uh, that's the Hegemony of Muse. Although maybe we should go after the... Huh. I mean, that's a Federation fleet. Hmm... You know what? Fuck it. Everyone just diverge and do your own thing. And if we really need to, then we'll just merge or get everyone together and then do a joint ass blasting session. And I think we should be okay. So, all right. Uh, I think you guys can move over to Muse where they currently have three colonies. The light of suns blinds and the darkness of the void hides. Only when we learn to travel faster than light did we learn just how little the light reveals. Today we begin the... Sorry, we begin to end this... Almorosis of ours. The sentry array we prepare to build in the Scarcosa system will one day become a stalwart... Panopticon. Panopticon. Our eye on every star. All see. Perfect. Let's get that sentry hub uh, building. I do, oh, I, I actually do really like the look of the sentry array. It's pretty cool looking. Giant, massive, um, you know, TV antenna from like the 70s or something. Situation Wait, log updated. was there actually 14,000 there? Situation log updated. Or Situation is that old updated. information? Oh, Situation look at that. Log updated. No, no, that's the commissary of Astan, never mind. I got excited for a second there. I thought that we'd find something Situation significant, but nope. Updated. It's just Situation them and their stupid ass updated. Federation fleet. We don't need to worry too much about them. We should blast them uh, in the ass though. Updated. Just as, like, out of principle, Situation right? Space Meatheads, you are. Okay, great. You're about to start seeing that down. Perfect. First Kingsport, you guys are ready to roll as well. And second Kingsport. Uh, why don't you actually attack these guys first, and then once you're done, once you're in the clear, Situation you guys can go ahead and, and uh, start sieging that place down. Muse has three pl planets. Um, wait. Oh, look at that! All right, allies actually did manage to um, occupy a planet. Good job, guys. Didn't think you had it in you. Uh oh. Huh. Look at that. Log They've actually got an army of, uh, sorry, a military of 46,000. Which is decently significant, I would say. And they're moving back to where we just conquered. Alright, well then in that case, I think after you guys take these planets that you were, to which you were assigned, after you take these ones, let's have you come back to that planet that you just took over. And then, um, once we get rid of that fleet, we don't need to... We won't need to worry as much. You know what? Just land. Who cares? I'm fairly certain this stupid-ass, measly, colonial watch bullshit 
won't be able to stand against our planets, uh, mixed slaver or slaves and um, psionic armies. Or at least that's kind of the hope. I could be wrong. Hopefully not. But regardless. Okay, you guys are almost ready to rumble. Perfect. And you guys are also ready to rumble. You are... You basically just started um, bombarding that planet. Construction complete. And this is a sound Enemy victory. Secured. So you've got three fleets that are currently able to take on the... Aha! You have returned! Oh wait, no, they haven't returned. No, forget these guys. Why don't the rest of you converge onto Chorus? Take out the actual Commissariat of Astan, as well as possibly their Federation fleet. These guys are following the 4th Abyssal Flotilla. I kind of wish I could find their uh, target by clicking on it, but nope. Aha! That's where the Zaxoids have gone to. I see. I see. Where are you headed? The first Nautilus Squadron. Shit biscuit. Where'd they go? Okay. Okay. We might actually be able to catch up to them. That is... Ha 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 ha! Nice! Perfect. I love it when that happens. Alright, so you guys should definitely be ready to rumble with that planet, so go ahead. Do your thing. Um, oh, I guess I pulled the fleet out of the, um, the hegemony of Mew's capital. Updated. Eh, fair enough. Kind of needed to anyways, right? Construction complete. The first stellar fleet. Mew's. Ah, so the Mew's have gone back. Okay, let's blast them. The first Kingsport, you guys can continue to attack the Mew's and their shit. Because why the hell not? They are close to us, so we might as well take advantage of the situation. Nothing personal against them. We yeah, we don't really have anything against the Muse themselves. The Zaxoids are dying so badly. Situation updated. <laughs> Wait, they escaped though. Any Shit. Oh well. All right, so you guys are good with that planet. Perfect. Let's have you roll out situation over to. Updated. Oh. Look at that! Our allies actually um, took over some more planets. Good job, allies! Holy shit! Because you guys are actually pulling your weight. I'm super. I'm genuinely impressed. I gotta say. Aha! Hegemony of Muse. This is all you have. Fly, you fools! Fly! Oh well. I guess they kind of are flying Situation like they're they're updated. spaceships. It makes sense. They can only fly, they don't really have a choice in the matter. Situation log Wait. Updated. Are you guys actually coming Situation in to help us out? Updated. Nope. You guys are apparently entering the orbit of a planet that has already been taken over by me. Um... Little late to the party, guys. Little late to the party. These guys are basically doing the equivalent of, um... Not only did they show up late to the party that I'm hosting, but they come in... And then they take Situation all the chips and the salsa, they fucking drink it in front of me by blending it, and so just, it's just a amalgamation, just like a vomitization of the, um, of the flavors, which is an insult to my cooking and my preparation of the dish in the first place. And then they just fucking go upstairs and have sex with my family or something. I, that made Situation no sense whatsoever, but you know what? That's okay. Vimakal? Is uh wait, are you guys not actually can you please continue the bombardment? Let's not leave any jobs half done, guys, okay? First Kingsport, you guys are not doing anything. Again, please get your freaking head in the game. Guys, I beg you. Pay attention. If I'm the one telling you to pay attention, you know there's something wrong. Alright, so Vimakal is ready to rumble and form Federation, really? Okay. I mean, I guess this does help a little bit. Yeah, you know what? 
Uh, let's go with that. That's fine. It's just the subsequent technology. I think is a little bit more useful than the other ones. Coolman Mog? Wait. That's another Coolman Mog. <laughs> okay, gee. I thought I was, uh, seeing double there. I guess I kind of am, but whatever. Alright, start taking down Vitilik, or whatever that place is called. Enemy We're already at 55%, wow. Pretty fast for a, um... For a rather large-scale war here. Good job, guys. Holy shit. Yeah, why don't you start moving over to... Tiakia. Uh-uh-uh. Commissary of Astan. We found them. We've found you. Although, no, no, no. Oh, no. Uh, hold off on going any for anywhere for now. Let's wait until our other fleets have um, completed taking over those planets. And then we'll get them together and then do a joint attack. A pincer movement, if you will, on the Commissary of Aztan. Can you please continue to bombard that place? Thank you very much. Where are they, though? Oh, okay, they're moving into the... Um, the weird chicken leg um, of the... Zaxoid Authority. Alright, got it. Who keeps closing their borders on me? The regime of Sierra Pactin. I'm surprised you guys didn't um, close your borders on me sooner. Oh, it's because our truce expired. I get it. Okay. That's fine. 70%. Holy shit. With some luck, we might actually be able to win this war in this episode. Holy crap. Fastest uh, late game war ever. Fantastic. Okay, so once these guys have taken over Vitilik, or whatever, let's have you guys follow the, um, the Commissary of Astan, the 9th Husk Squadron. Take them out once and for all. Enemy planet secured. And then we can celebrate by, um, I guess, just doing what we were doing before we, uh, did that. Whatever. Yeah, let's go after them. And it's all going to be one jump for each of them. Perfect. And I think that's about the only military force they have left. I'm fairly certain the Zaxoids... Well, look at that. Third Husk Squadron. Huh. Looks like some of them may have survived. Because I'm fairly certain they didn't have the uh, time to rebuild them. Is my guess, anyways. Ah, shit. I was kind of um, hoping I could stop you guys from attacking them until we got the other guys in on this. But, no. Looks like you guys are gonna have to engage. That's fine. That's fine. We should be able to manage without taking too many casualties. I hope. I pray. For you guys, at least. It's not my life, so what do I care? As I like to say, no skin off the back of my nose. Situation. Oh no! I hate it when they escape! I mean, I love it when I escape, um, when I'm being, you know, attacked, but I hate it when the enemy escapes. Is that hypocrisy? I don't think so. Because I didn't criticize them for escaping. Although, I mean, I definitely did in my head. Oh, for a second I thought I read that as the enemy's, um, military, but no. Haha! <laughs> Thankfully, they did not uh, fabricate a navy of 65,000 uh, strength while I wasn't looking. I wouldn't put it past them, but uh, they didn't manage. They're about to follow the third Corolla. So you might be a little late to the party here. Yep. They've gone over to Nitris. Uh, what? Who's it? Oh. Okay, you're following the Cinematis Manufacturing. Good for you, I suppose. Oh, poor Cinematis Manufacturing. Oh no, I feel so bad for you. That's about you're about to get blasted in the ass. Uh oh. Here they come. Wait, no, it's a third husk squadron. That's their largest fleet, right? So that's what we're looking for. Unless they got absolutely annihilated, which is definitely a possibility. I don't know why my allies keep going after planets that I've already taken over. Like, I don't get it. Are you guys just stupid? Third Corolla? 
That's the Combine of Cinema. I didn't realize they actually had a uh, military presence. <laughs> I just kind of assumed that they were basically, um, you know, non-existent at this point. But, you know, surprises happen. All right, let's, uh, let's not end the episode off just yet. Let's win this war, since we're so close, and then end the episode. We're at 80%. Just have a few more planets to take over, and then we should be able to move on. Yeah, let's go after that one. First Kingsport, you are attacking the transport fleets. Good for you. I guess a little bit of a bullying never hurts with the uh, transport fleets. I mean, you definitely shouldn't be bullying human beings, but um, when it comes to the filthy Xenos that we are currently attacking, yes, I'd say you can definitely bully them. Okay, second Kingsport Reserve, move over to Inthor. And third Kingsport Reserve, go over to Evajimar and take over Pubnik whatever that place was called. I don't know. Let's actually take a look at our contact list here. So the Glorious Pact. Oh, they are actually all pathetic in comparison. It's just their technology level the makes up for the difference updated. a little bit. Okay, I see. Interesting. Situation kind of updated. Meatheads, you are over Situation on Bibak. Updated. Great. Um, can you please pay attention and start attacking Bibak? You don't see the Pelx Crodonians going after hapless uh, space stations, do you? First Kingsport, you guys have to siege that down completely. Same with you dudes. And third Kingsport. The same. We just kind of got lucky with the, uh, with the Bach. Hey, thanks for coming in to help, but, uh, we got this, guys. We more than got this. In fact, we got this so much that you, conversely, don't got this. That made no sense, but oh well. That is okay with me. Enemy planet secure. Alright, let's get you guys embarked. And follow Space Meatheads. Move on over to Siet. I don't think it's really necessary. We might actually have all the war score we need once we take over the rest of these three planets. But just in case, right? Just in case. Just attack. Just land. I don't really give a rat's ass anymore. Just fucking land. They, they shouldn't be able to uh, do anything to us with uh, what they have, right? Yeah, we should be fine at this point. Situation log updated. Yep, yep, no, nope, they're, they're doing all right. Uh, this place, for a little bit, it kind of looked like it was kind of a touch and go, but... Nah, we're okay. Situation log updated. And let's get a whole bunch of shit built on these planets. Mostly for shits and giggles. Yep, all that crap. Get our mineral silo as well, and a paradise paradise dome. Enemy planet secured. And, uh, Enemy you know what? Clone vats. Because who doesn't want clones of uh, Biaki flying around, right? You guys are ready to rumble. Perfect. Follow. And follow. Secured. And that is that. That's 100%. Perfect. Alright, everyone. Start heading back home. And in between episodes, uh, we will have you guys replenished and all that shit. We'll just let these guys surrender. It's it's more dignified that way, right? I think. Here we go. That's right, fools. Goodbye, Combine of Cinema. Bye-bye. There they go. Hey, you're welcome, vassals. Slurpanor order. Oh, look at that. I just gave you more shit. Isn't that fantastic? And now, we can vassalize these dudes. Weird plant things. Perfect. Alright, well, I think this is a good place to end the episode. In our next episode, I think we will declare another war for the hegemony of... We'll just... Maybe we'll just straight up vassalize the hegemony of Muse. Uh, actually, maybe not, because they're... Their ethoses don't really sit that well with me, but mm, I suppose maybe in the uh, interest of saving time, we might go ahead and just do a vassalization war for these 
for these two, because I think the Commissary of Aztan, we could probably vassalize them too. I'm fairly certain we have enough uh, war score for that. But yeah, that'll be for the next episode. So in between episodes, I will uh, let time pass until we can declare another war against these guys, because otherwise we can go to war against the regime of Seer Pactin or Slur Pactin, but they're so freaking weak, it's not even worth it at this point. We'll just save them for last, because why not, right? It's like a light light dessert after your full course meal of uh, Zoom, Muse, Zaxoid, and Aztan. Yeah, and I'll also replenish the uh, fleets and whatever, because I have 10 years to do it. 10 real life years, not uh, 10 in-game years. Alright, so for now, thanks for watching and have a good breakfast.